guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and I'm in my kitchen making a banana smoothie for breakfast. Mommy, I take the big poop. Some people have been making comments about how much food I eat um, because I lately I've been averaging 5,000 calories a day and I know that sounds like a lot, but I think it's important to look at your calorie intake specifically your carbohydrate calorie intake it's your fuel I live a very demanding lifestyle I'm a mom I'm building my fitness I take care of my house I run my nutrition business I have so much I'm on my feet at least 10 hours a day doing things and I know that if I don't eat enough I end up on the couch exhausted I have days like that even eating this much where I have to spend X amount of hours laying down on certain days where I feel extremely fatigued because my lifestyle is so demanding I'm breastfeeding your calorie intake is going to be a direct reflection of your workload your daily workload so if you want to be able to do more every day you have to eat more and in order to be able to do more. If you want to get fitter, you have to eat more in, to, in order to be able to put out the wattage you need to get fitter for your body to adapt to that stress response. So that's how I'm able to get fitter. I'm eating as many carbohydrates as I care for. I go to the gym, I exercise, I do intervals on the treadmill, I do intervals on the bike, I, I just do steady state on the treadmill, I do steady state on the bike, I lift weights, I do boxing, and it's all changing my physique for the better. I have not, the last time I was this fit, I was in college, and I actually think I'm fitter now than I was playing college basketball, so it's pretty incredible. Okay, I got some wipes too. Here we go. So that is the message for today. I'm gonna make my smoothie so that I have tons of energy for the day. Add my coconut sugar because refined carbohydrates is what takes you to that next level. It is hard to eat enough from just whole foods. So don't just have it in your mind, whole foods, because then you'll end up eating too much fat and wonder why you're not getting the results. Too much fat equals fat on your body. It also equals no energy to train, no energy to be putting out the watts in your life. I, I think it's a fun analogy because Durian Ryder wrote in his book that even though he's a cyclist and that's what he does for exercise, you wanna apply the wattage that you're putting out on the bike that you can maintain for hours to your life. And when I changed my mindset about that and I was like, okay, I need to be managing 120 watts just regularly going through my life and I need to be able to fuel that. If that's what I'm running every hour of the day or 80 watts or 90 watts or 100 watts, just low, low wattage. If you use a power meter on a bike, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I just use a power meter on a spin bike at the gym, but it's given me a really good idea of of how to gauge my output and how many carbohydrates I need to eat in order to maintain that. It will revolutionize your life. I'm talking about like completely tapping into your optimal health and fitness potential and it's only capable when you eat enough carbohydrate calories on the regular. So smash them in. If you're feeling like your digestion's a little compromised or you're gaining weight, it means that you need to focus on your fitness because that is what is going to help raise your metabolism in order to get leaner again and to adjust your hormones. And I'm just talking about steady state cardio. You don't need to go intense every day at the gym. I don't do that today. I'm just gonna go easy on the bike and do a little bit of strength training. So just keep that in mind. You don't need to go all out every day. It's more important that you're just out there moving your body, playing with your kids, walking your dog, riding your bike, and taking the carbohydrates in. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, eat enough calories. I recommend a minimum for women if you're trying to be active and get fit, 2,500 calories a day. That translates to 850 calories per meal. 
<sighs> for men, you definitely need more. I actually eat more calories than my husband, and I tell him all the time, if he wants to, you know, have more energy, he's got to eat more food, eat more carbohydrates. So that's it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and start making my smoothie, and... Um, yeah, I get fueled up for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for, I'll probably do another what I eat in a day video this week. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.